Hello all the festive viewers I am Bhagyashri and we are back with another preview of today's double header it is Sunday and another double header day in the Hero Indian Super League the first match will be between Mumbai City FC and Hyderabad FC followed by the second match later in the night the match will be between Kerala Blasters and East Bengal FC so first we'll talk about the first match which will be between Hyderabad FC and Mumbai City FC and then we will of course talk talk about the second match also if you are new to fisto sports and you haven't yet subscribed to our channel so do that as we will be coming up with a lot of content on the indian sports we start with mumbai city fc they must have been very frustrated in their last game against jamshedpur fc when they were unable to score a winning goal against a side which was only playing with 10 men with one one man down for majority of the contest the match against jamshedpur fc but take nothing away from sergio lobera he is absolutely beautifully coached the side and uh, the side is now topping the table with 13 points from 6 matches to their name they are without a doubt one of the clear favorites for this year's title so coming on to the team news sergio lobera has shifted to a 4411 formation in the last match because of the inclusion of uh, obge uh, obgeke uh, instead of hugo bomos uh, hugo bomos is expected to start today against hyderabad x fc so we expect lobera to go back to his 4231 formation renier fernandes and farooq are competing for the same spot. spot in the side and they are being used in a rotational basis on the other hand as far as injuries are concerned hernan santana may not be fit to play today's match and may not start today's match also the player with the most isl caps to his name mandar rao is out due to a personal re- due to some personal commitment so coming on to the predicted formation 4 2 with amrinder singh as the goalkeeper raki paul mehtab singh and vignesh as the defenders jahu and bolges as the central defense midfielders godard bomos bipin as the midfielders and adam lefondre as the striker Next we talk about Hyderabad FC. They are just one among the two unbeaten sides of this year's Hero Indian Super League so far. Personally, if you are a football fan who likes to see uh, Klopp's Liverpool play, then you must be loving the Hyderabad FC side because Manuel Roca is developing it. He is developing into the most loved football managers in India because of his attractive brand of football he possesses with Hyderabad FC the side that finished last in the last previous season is now the unbeaten uh, side so far so moving on to the team news manuel roca's preferred formation is 4231 and he is more likely to maintain the same in today's match as well their attack is where they are so deadly with santana mohammad yasir as the strikers and holi charan nazari and the young energetic Calco as the wingers if the team can break open Mumbai City FC's defense and remain unscathed at the end of 90 minutes then it's pretty easy to say that they are one of the contenders to lift the coveted cup this year Shastri and Joel are still recovering from their injury they suffered against Bengaluru FC and will miss today's game as well so moving on to the predicted formation and the lineup the formation would be like 4231 with Shubhrat Opal as the goalkeeper ashish rai onainda singh akash mishra as the defenders victor and hitesh sharma as the central defense midfielders calco mohammad yasir holi charan nazari as the midfielders with adrian santana as the center striker now talking about what can be expected in the first match of night's double header it's two teams with great caliber this year and whichever team wins the battle will hold the upper hand in reaching the semi finals nevertheless both the teams have a five match unbeaten streak to their name will either one of them be broken or will it be an even draw and it will remain intact we will only find out within 7:15 pm today so now it's finally time to take a look at fisto's fantasy 11 for today's first match so we have kept amrinder singh in between the sticks as the goalkeeper rai pujari and singh singh and fall as the defenders followed by the midfielders narzari bomos the captain of our side and jahu and the forwards santana the vice captain of course Colaco and Lefondre
So let's move forward to today's second match of the double header in which the newcomers East Bengal FC will be taking on final two time finalists Kerala Blasters FC both the teams are yet to win a single match in this year's ISL and are des desperately looking for a win today so let's dive right into it and we start with East Bengal FC they will be having the worst nightmares right now. They are struggling to find a way to win. They have obtained just a solitary point out of their five matches so far. Although some referee decisions have gone against them, but the match against Hyderabad FC is only East Bengal are to be blamed for that, for their dismal performance against Hyderabad FC. So coming on to the team news, Robbie Fowler has tried all the formations in the world playing with three-man defence and is yet to find a winning way. Will he try to go ahead with a four-man defence? We will only know in the match tonight. But on the brighter note, East Bengal FC must be happy that they scored at least one shot in this year's ISL against Hyderabad FC and that was a brace by Jack Smagoma. But on the other hand, Indian forwards like JJ and Vinita are yet to even register a shot on target. So moving on to the predicted formation, it would be like 3-1-4-2 with the lineup as Devjit Majumdar will be in between the sticks as the goalkeeper, Sehnaad Singh, Muhammad Irshad and Scott Nevy as the defenders, Matty Stainman as the central defensive midfielder, Narayan Das, Pilkington, Magoma and Rafik in front of them with JJ and Holaway as the attackers. We next talk about Kerala Blasters. Their journey in this year's ISL has not been the best so far. They have the squad with the highest value and a lot were expected of their squad but, not, but they haven't been able to live up to those expectations so far. The way they conceded a late goal against Northeast United FC and conceded four simple goals due to some errors in their defence will be hurting, by, will be hurting um, the side forever. So moving on to the the team news Kibu played a 4 2 3 1 formation against Bengaluru FC. Tactically, the formation was good, and they and all the goals that they conceded were only a few defensive silly errors that they made. Albino Gomes has been absolutely fantastic this year and has nothing to do with the goals conceded by them so far. Murray started for the first time and scored a goal, which is a good news for Kerala Blasters, and Costa will also come back from suspension for this game. So moving on to the formation, uh, it can be 4-2-3-1 with the predicted lineup with Albino Gomes as the goalkeeper, Nishu Kumar, Costa, Kone and Prashant as the defenders, Gomez, uh, Jakesan Singh as the central defensive midfielder, uh, Periyara, uh, Rahul KP and Non Domba in front of them with Jordan Murray as the striker. Now moving on to the last segment that is what to expect in the second double, second match of the double header. Both the teams are at the bottom half of the points table. Both the teams are yet to register a win. And this season, both the teams have conceded the most number of goals this season. Everything is on the negative side, but, the, but both the teams would want to break all the negatives and would want to have a positive outcome post this uh, match by, by having a sounding victory. So we predict a draw between the two sides, but what do you think will be the result of these match? this match? Do let us know in the comment box below and share your views about the video as well. So thank you for watching Fisto Sports. Uh, stay tuned to our channel as we will be covering all the matches of this year's ISL. There's a lot more action coming up. Stay tuned.